Imagine yourself being successful. Five exercises to make your butt yourself being successful. Big, fat, ugly butt. Useless bitch. 88 pounds. Focus on your goal. A sensitivity or allergy to which you can reduce. God, I hate slow people. Hair is your crowning glory. If you fuck you. Way that flatters your face you and choose a great color if you don't like your own. If you want to, try some teeth whitening solutions. Teen dating abuse and violence is happening everywhere to take risks. Step out of your comfort zone. How I Live Now is about a girl called Daisy who is sent from New York by her father to stay in her aunt's house for the summer in the countryside in England. She feels that she's been sent to England for the summer oh, right. as a kind of exile right. and she arrives in a really foul temper, you know, determined not to enjoy herself. And she comes to England as a very negative person, whereas our family are very positive, everything's happy, everything's wonderful. You expect me to get in this thing? With you? Well, you could get a bus if you'd rather. Fine, yeah, I would. It does take about eight hours, though. And the next one's not due until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Welcome, by the way. Uh-huh. To England. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. I bet when there's no cars around. Daisy is pretty messed up. She doesn't really have a good relationship with her father. Um, her mother died while giving birth to her, so she's kind of been riddled with guilt her whole life. She's a very wounded girl. She's quite troubled and doesn't think a lot of herself and um, has got kind of a lot of pain bottled up. She's always quite angry. She's had quite a lot of sadness in her life. She's here! Get your dog away from me! Push her away, Daisy. They'll be fine. <laughs> kind of at the start of the story, when she meets Eddie, she blows. Get off, 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 get who is that? Edmund. Edmund? Eddie is a teenager of action and he's very in tune with nature and his environment. He's not someone that resorts to words easily. He doesn't really talk to Daisy yet he seems to understand her very well and that's something that really annoys her. You okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna get some air. He completely undercuts all the walls that she puts up for other people and immediately gets to the heart of who she is, which is a really wonderful person. And he sees that and understands that and falls completely in love with that. Her aunt has to travel away for a few days and it's just her and the rest of the children in the house on their own and it's kind of about how all of their relationships develop with each other and how Daisy learns to open up to them and kind of be herself a little bit more with, with these kids. There's no real adult authority and that's one of, the, one of the, I think, exciting things about the film is that it's kind of a bit of a wish fulfillment for teenage kids, you know, what happens if you're left completely on your own and allowed to do whatever you like. Which way you go for? Which way you love? Which way you choose from? From the stars above. The Third World War effectively breaks out and uh, she is separated from the man she's fallen in love with. 
and fights to get back to him across a war tour in England. Just as they've become one, they're separated and it's heartbreaking. And so it makes the, the, the story immensely, immensely moving, but also tense because you're desperate for these two people to get back. You don't know how they're going to get back together again.